the Bob Mills Weather Center, Oklahoma weather expert, Lacey Swope. But we told you heavy rain and thunderstorms. That's exactly what we have going on across Oklahoma. A little lightning, a little thunder. And where we have that convection, we have some sleet falling from the sky. Northwestern Oklahoma. Marty Logan sending that video. Oh, I added an L. Sorry, Mar I know your name, Marty. It's not Martley. Oh, that's a pretty name. Your mama should have thought of that. Yeah, we didn't say anything. It's Martley Martley. <laughs> yes, Martley Logan. It's absolutely gorgeous. A little sleet going on up near Fargo. And really where we have a few of these thunderstorms, it's not out of the question because of how cold we are aloft to get some of that sleet. Let me show you radar of what it looks like as the storm is making its way on through. There's been some snow out in our panhandle. The rest of the state, it's a cold rain, and it's a good rain down to the south. Widespread showers, and those are lifting into the Oklahoma City metro. Here's Next Gen Live, heavy downpour right over Norman, up I-35 into Moore, back over to Tuttle, Union City, back to Cedar Lake. I've put a track on the leading edge of this, bringing it up to the northeast, coming into Oklahoma City in just the next 30, 45 minutes. Choctaw at 9.55 or 9.57, Tecumseh, 10.01, Edmond, by about 10:15, and then it'll let up, and then more rain moves back in. Widespread all the way down I-35, back to Duncan, back to Chattanooga, all the way back to the southwest and Mangum. Now the rain is lighter in western Oklahoma. A few strikes of lightning there over Woodward County and Bouse Junction. That's where you could have some little bit of sleet coming on down, and it's a little loud as well as those showers and storms are making their way on through. Rain lifting up this morning. Still some drizzle to the north. Still some fog around in northwestern Oklahoma as well. Temps in the metro are in the mid 40s. We don't have much of a warm up in store today. We're in the lower mid 40s. We'll kind of stay there for the next several hours and the rain moves through and it just stays into the afternoon and evening. So 30s and 40s today, some 50s down to the south. Really a chilly day, a cloudy day and have the rain gear with you if you're going to have to be out and about. Here's six o'clock rain continuing. But you notice far northern Oklahoma, not a whole lot going on. You'll get some light showers out of this as it kind of spins overhead. But the bulk of the totals will really be kind of 412 southward all the way down to the Red River and rain continues for quite a while overnight tonight. We get cold enough in the mid levels for a little sleet, maybe a little snow early tomorrow morning on the backside of this as it's moving away. Ground temperature should be just warm enough that we don't really have any problems on the roadways sunshine in western Oklahoma for tomorrow. By tomorrow late afternoon, early evening as the sun is setting, our skies will start to clear out in Oklahoma City and that means full sun coming up for your Sunday. So this afternoon, rain chances at 100%. Lows tonight will drop down into the lower 30s, but I do think this is kind of after the skies start to clear and the precip ends. So not expecting travel issues. If that changes, we'll let you know. Watch the forecast later today as we're fine tuning the timing and the placement of that precip. Rain chances and maybe a wintry mix with a little sleet, a little snow overnight tonight. Better chance is going to be up to the north. But again, not locked in that we get the wintry mix, but it is locked in that we get the precip overnight in Oklahoma City. And then it's out of here early in the morning. So how much are we talking up north up to a quarter of an inch? You get for the zone kind of in blue here, this lighter blue, half of an inch to an inch. And there's still the chance in a few areas down to the south and maybe even in the metro end up with an inch, maybe up to an inch and a half. And for January, that's a lot of water. Ties for tomorrow, due to the cloud cover hanging on for quite a while, you notice 30s, but you get out to the west, 40s and 50s for your Saturday. Now, Sunday morning, we have 20s in the forecast, but in the afternoon, lower mid 50s, some upper 50s in the west, full sunshine on Sunday, Monday, full sunshine. We're in the 60s all the way through next week. We have a dip on Wednesday, but still close to average temperatures. We're coming into February on Thursday with just a gorgeous forecast. We're tracking our next chance of rain and thunderstorms coming in the following Saturday. All right, we're back right after this break.